Rosa. Warriors, right? <laughs> I don't know. I ain't got my fucking mouse. I can't do shit. Fame, fame farts will always be more famous. Then Billy the bullshit fucking goat out in the back fucking yard finger fucking his sister. Let me tell you, let me tell you something, Lord. You're gonna have to get up way up. If you think you're going to take me on, because I will stomp you in the next weekend, boy. Video, video, or, you know, to me, another sloppy, fucking, saggy ass, piece of shit, low life southern motherfucker. Look at the smirk on your face, you shit fuck. What? You, just, you, you can't even shave your own face for a job anymore? Hell, I get drunk. At least I can take a fucking bath. What's your excuse, Billy? You don't have showers either from what you said this morning. No, that's not what you said. That's not what you said. That is not what you said, Billy. You said that you haven't had a shower. You told me yesterday when you got off Skype that you were fixing to grab a shower and shave for your job interview. And I said, well, good luck to you, man. And when you talked to me again, you said that you didn't have a fucking shower in a couple of days. And I said, you told me last night that you were fixing to get a shower and you were fixing to shave. Do you see, Billy, how I've got to keep up with every fucking conversation that I have with somebody? Oh, yeah. Yeah, for Christ's sake, that's what you said to me. I'm just saying that's what you told me you were going to do. I don't give a shit if you shave or not. Your dick could fall off, Billy. I don't care. Oh. I'm going to have to call a fucking cleaning place and here to clean this fucking dump up. Man. What is this fucked up? What? Okay. Okay. 
does that sound better? Does that sound better? How's it, how's it feel? Hey, 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 Brave. All I want to ask you is one question. How does it feel to be playing with the big boys? I know what I'm I'm going to tell you what, though, you ain't. Well, let me ask you something, Billy. No, really, I want to have an intellectual two-second conversation with you, if that's possible. Okay, let's, Billy, I really, want, I really want you to hear me out. Let's say that you are a phone-answering person. You're a service person, and you answer the phone. And you say, good morning. This is... Billy Bob's shop, and how can we help you today? Except you've got a phone in this ear and 100 phones going off over here. And you try to intellectually keep up with all the conversations that's going on because God knows, you know, that's what's going on. Someone might get upset and hurt me. I don't want to learn, Billy. I don't want to learn you. I've been I've been without a man long enough that you make me want to vomit. I don't care about having the approval. I don't need the approval of a man to tell me that I'm good enough. I make my own decisions. I sat, Billy, in the chair that you see me sitting in right now. I sat in this chair, Billy, for two years making up my own mind. I don't need your approval. I don't need your expectations or anything for you to tell me what the fuck I'm doing and what I'm not doing. Billy, let me just tell you something. Hey, don't you tell me what the fuck I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to ever looked at you sexually. you when I talked to you on Skype the very first like 60 seconds that I was not interested in you like that. I told you that. need to make an email phone call here so I got to get offline here for a minute and then I'll pop